Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some MTG Arena. We haven't played Arena in a little bit, and uh, I want to do a draft. Just have fun with the draft today and see how well we can do. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, Thorn of Eldrin just came out. I've got a ticket entry, so yeah, let's see what we can do here with this. All right, pack one. Let's see. Giant Killer. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm not... I haven't drafted yet with this set. Queen of Ice isn't bad either. So if my draft picks are not something great, well, oh well. <laughs> uh, it is actually play that card. That's not bad either. She's expensive. Tap target creature with a chop down. Uh, my, I think I'd be between Giant Killer and Queen of Ice. I think we'll just take the Giant Killer. Let's see what else we got here. Forever Young. Turn Tiger Knight. Card to your hand. Scavengers. Uh, Lonesome Unicorn is pretty good. Vigilance 3 3. Hunter's really good too. Creates food token, but we're already not in those colors. Mm -mm -mm. Witch's Cottage. Uh, I guess we'll just take the Unicorn. I don't know. Flutterfox is good if we can get some uh, artifact or enchantments going with this guy. But he is a good card, especially in white. So I'd be I'd be tempted to get him. Uh, let's see. Lax and Intruder is really good too, actually. Um... I think we're going to branch off into green here and probably take this Flax and Intruder. Whenever it deals damage to a player, sacrifice it, you can destroy target. It's pretty good. Move a lot of stick. Let's try it. Enters with the counter. There's another Queen of Ice. Claim the Firstborn is a decent card too, honestly. I'm a fan of this card. Um, and now we're going green, white. Oh man, maybe we need to switch colors though. Uh, I guess we'll just take the Paladin. Not really sure. Fling. Take uh, Beanstalk. I don't know how great it would be. Actually, Golden Egg's not bad. Let's take Golden Egg. It's a good card for splashing. Just a vanilla 3 2. Cauldron's familiar. Block. I guess uh, we'll get some card draw here on this. I don't know. It looks like we're going into like mono white almost. First strike. Five damage target creature for create a food token. Not bad. Mm -mm. I think we'll take a spider here. Red Cabin seems decent. Another Golden Egg. I think we'll take another Golden Egg. Oh, he gets plus one, plus one. It's not bad. I think I'll take him. Mm. Let's take that guy. I don't know. Put it in our sideboard. Mm. So we'll just take that. This equipment for knights. 
Uh, we might have some knights, so we'll take that just in case. Take a beanstalk. There we go. Alright, second pack. That's not bad. Sorcerer Spyglass. Uh, that's really not bad. That could go with our... If we get a, fire, a Flutter Fox in this pack, too. That'll be useful. I'd like to grab a fire, uh, Flutter Fox. It's a good card. Which Stalker isn't bad, either. But it's going to take double green. Uh, so far, we've only got one creature card with an adventure on it, so... Still a decent card, though, honestly. Ooh, I think it's between these two. Both are decent. Three for 33. Horse, Sorcerer Spyglass. Uh, I think we'll take this one. This is just a powerful card. That'll shut down any card that we go up against. This might be... Let's see, how many... How many things do we got that can make a egg token so far? Not really enough. Alright, I don't want to go in that direction then. He's not bad. There's another gingerbread. That'll come back around though. Let's take this guy. That's uh, righteousness isn't bad. We could take that. Powers two or less. That's not bad either. Um, I think we'll take the righteousness. Another unicorn. It's not bad. Take the unicorn. Drown the locks. Good card. Not really where we're going. I think this is an easy choice here with the Flutter Fox. Weapon rack. I guess, uh, let's see here. Let's take this guy again. Uh, this isn't a bad card to snag, honestly. It's a good payoff. I think uh, we'll just take a creature, though. Alright, let's take Wolf's Glory. It's the best thing so far. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Guide Mother. Uh, Gingerbread Cabin, Youthful Knight. We'll take Youthful Knight. And this one doesn't really matter. We'll take the Opt. Uh, we'll take this. Take that one. And we'll put that on the sideboard. There we go. Alright. Thunder Snapper is a good card, but we're going to need four green to cast it. It's unfortunate. 3-4 Flyer. Alkalite might be good just for uh, fixing our mana a little bit. There's another Paladin. Midnight Clock, that's a rare. Scalding Cauldron isn't the worst card either. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the Alkalite. Ooh, Hushbringer. Yeah, we're definitely going to take the Hushbringer. Let me just make sure there's nothing else that looks enticing here. Yeah, let's take the Hushbringer. Another Unicorn. We could really stock up on Unicorns. This is a good card. I like using that card. Better in a, better in a red deck. Well, it might be, might be not bad here. It's an artifact, so it'll turn on our Flutter Fox. Or do we just want to take... I think we'll just take the Unicorn, because I think uh, this will come back around. Mmm. This guy's good. Another Fairy Godmother. Another Golden Egg. 
Oh, this is a good pack. Uh, I really like this guy. He's pretty powerful. If we can get him down, if we start going into like more of a mono white, might be really good. Alright. It's not bad. We'll take him. Sacrifice. 3 1. Okay. Sure, I don't care. I don't really know what to pick from that one. There's our drawbridge again. I think I'll take that. There we go. I guess we'll take the Beloved Princess. It's not a great card, though. We might side it out. Scaldron. Let's see what else we got here. I'll just take that, I guess. And put that in there. Take that. Take that. There we go. Alright, so here's our deck list. It's not the cleanest thing. Fairy Godmother, two of them. Giant Killer Righteousness, Flex Intruder, Wild Tracker, Flutter Fox, Hushbringer, Silver Squ Flame Squire, two Youthful Knights, Return to Nature, Drawbridge, two Golden Eggs, Sorcerer Spyglass, two Garen Brick Carvers, one Tall as a Beanstalk, three of the Unicorns, and then one of Lion's Claw. Uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Alright. See if our opponent plays first or not. It's a decent hand. We can handle this. Get a wild tracker down. Pass. Oh, there goes our spyglass. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I think we'll put down. I don't have anything to turn on Flutter Fox yet, so I think we'll put down the Knight. Actually, no, I wanted to put down Flutter Fox because it turns him on, so that was actually a mistake. Alright, they got a food token. Now we can't attack into this Witch, which is unfortunate. Hushbringer, huh? Let's get this down. We can block the stupid eye collector. Turn off anything else they might have. No tax. They may have removal though. Hmm, 
just to pass. All right. Lion Claw is on its way. This on an adventure. And I think we're just gonna pass unless I want to destroy something here. pull into our other land, this guy will be excellent to get on the battlefield. Everything gets a buff. No attack. Sweet. All right. Uh, so how do we want to do this here? I feel like he's holding up some kind of destroy thing. I want to put him down. I'm just afraid he's just going to die straight away. Let's try it. Maybe he's just not getting his land drops, he's a little stuck. Don't know. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pass one more time. We'll do an Alpha Strike next turn with Lion's Claw if he survives. Here we go, Kitty. He's changing colors. It's weird. Alright. That's fine. Passing. Nice. Um, alright. Well, that's awesome. So, what can we make? Let's make the knight that. I feel like that'd be good. And then we'll have righteousness for something, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, our guys are going to be pretty dang big here. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Awesome. It's a hefty team. Can gain some life though. Crack that, gain some life. Oof. And boom, boom, boom. They go to one. Holy crap. Alright. Oh boy, he's playing Demir. Yeah, he was mana screwed. That sucks. Good to know. We go to game two. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do. Hushbringer's going to affect that. Maybe he doesn't realize it. Okay, 
Yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, is there anything in here we could use? Spore cap might be nice. Maybe we'll take out one of the golden eggs. Sure. Uh, anything else? Okay, food. Mana. Could bring in Scaldron, uh, Cauldron. But... I think we're just going to continue with the aggro here. Let's do that. He's got a few flyers, so having an extra blocker for that's fine. can keep it we've got our mana base set up pretty nicely I wish we had a little bit more power here hmm we'll keep it I'm not a huge fan of this though Drawbridge, another land is not what we want, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to just play out the giant killer? I think we'll wait, we'll play out the sky squire. Nice blocker. Hmm. Took away some good cards. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, we just keep drawing lands. Oh, that's not pretty at all. Uh, yeah, let's just play this guy. Now they've got only blue out. Okay. That's a good defense. Hmm, we got a unicorn. Uh, so why don't we get that out there? No tax. Let's get a card draw going. Okay. Hmm. 
so they're worth getting in some damage. I really got nothing else I can do here. You see a counter here? They're holding it up like they've got it. Let's see if they block or they want to continue to mill here. I feel like they'll probably want to continue to mill. They've got me down to 20 cards. If they mill me, good job. Can't be mad about that. Alright, another eye collector. Alright, they're on the attack. I'll probably block the Wish of Merfolk. Hmm, actually am I? Yeah, might as well. I can't attack into these secret keepers anyways. I need to go overhead and this guy isn't doing anything, so I might as well block it. Oh, Spore's not bad right now. Uh, so let's play the Spore. Play the Fairy Godmother. And if we need to do the Righteousness at any point, we can... Uh, dump this so let's go ahead and pass Ooh, man. They went straight mill plan on this draft. Holy crap. Mmm, <laughs> food token. Not fun. Another decent blocker, too. This is a pretty good card, honestly. So where am I at now? 14. I'm losing another two. I go to 12. Okay. Um, well, we'll block one. Kill one. Do we block both? I think we're just going to block one. Ooh, Hushbringer. All right. Uh, so, what do we got left here? We'll put down the Hushbringer. Get another blocker in the sky. Oh, let's see. I think we'll hold on to all that. Let's pass. Oh, no. Cancel. No attacks. Uh, or do we want to? Well, it's too late now. I missed my opportunity. <laughs> I clicked through. I was going to say we could, like, attack in for one with Fairy Godmother and just, you know, hold back our Spore Cap and Hushbringer, but I think we'll start doing that next turn, though. 
Mhm. They got such a good defense. It's crazy. I can't get through and they can just play patient and really try to uh this doesn't tap during his controller's untap, huh? Alright, can't do anything about it. <laughs> now we're locked out a little bit. We may want to just play him out to start tapping things down. I think we probably will. We're going to go here. Getting in for some more damage. And yeah, let's just play him. Start being able to tap stuff down if we need to. Um. Yep. Alright. Running out of cards. And we can start tapping the eye collector down and swing it in for damage at least. Hmm. Well. We can trap the eye collector. Kinda. Alright, what do we want to put down here? I think we're gonna attack in. See what they do. Are they attempted to block now? Oh, they are. Oh, well, we'll take care of him. It's fine. Um,. So now we don't have to worry about that guy, so I guess now we'll just go ahead and play some of our bigger creatures here. Yeah, let's do that. Like I said, they gotta be patient, they got me on a 10 turn clock. <laughs> I keep drawing lands.
So we can tap one of these secret keepers, tack in. Yeah, we're not quite there where we'll be able to like get an extra damage really. We'll be able to get in like one extra. Not even. No, we gotta wait till like next turn to do that. could attack in with everything and sneak in some damage that way. Put them in a position to just go ahead and block with the Tempting Witch. Alright. This one's fine. I kept thinking we'll force them to block with everything. It's fine. And if they try to crack this thing, we may just like, in response, destroy it or something. I don't know. I don't know what to go, go from here except, uh, you know, keep pinging them for one every turn. Next time, we'll be able to swing in for a little bit more. Slow paced game. These secret keepers are annoying. Yeah, target my Hushbringer now? That'd be annoying. Sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that guy. I don't need any more of these on the battlefield. Okay, that's nice. So let's give that to our unicorn. Down to five, put down another flyer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And let's go back to them. Sped up our clock a little bit. Oh man. That's rough. Oh, oh right, it doesn't trigger because of Hushbringer. Good. Woo, forgot about that. I was like, man, they're about to get us down to eight cards. To uh, six cards? Oh, that would have been gnarly. Thank you, Hushbringer. Holy crap. Nothing we can do. Uh, 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 uh. Except do that. Play at our land, why not? I think we'll tap a creature at end of turn. Sure, we'll tap that. There we 
go. And now we can swing in for two again. Put down our planes, and we'll do the same thing at end of turn next turn. It's not going to help you. There we go. Anything else we can do? Alright, cool. That was our first game. <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> Alright. Holy crap, first game took forever. But we'll get some cards. And some XP. Claim the prize. Alright, we'll move on. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on with game two here of our draft. Playing some Selesnya colors. Lots of decent creatures that we just overwhelmed the bell, uh, board with. We had a long first match. So let's see how this one goes. Alright, this is decent. Definitely keep this. Put out the tracker and uh, what will we do after that? I guess the Hushbringer. Oh, nice unicorn. I'll take it. He played that tapped, so his mana's a little wonky. may even do Spyglass and really see what we're up against here. Alright, Cauldron Familiar. I think we will. Mm, or actually, do we want to get in for the two? Let's, let's get in for the two. Probably uh, do uh, on alert or create a night token. Probably create a night token. I think it'd be best. I'd like to play Spyglass soon though. If we get like another one drop thing, we'll we'll do the Spyglass. Oh, there goes that. All right. Alright. Let's do this. Create a knight. Now, is this human or is it just knight? This is not human. Alright, good, good. Most knights are human, but it's not going to trigger this. Or it will trigger this. This is not a human. I don't know what I'm saying. Next turn. Hmm. Let's see. Scry two. Okay. Decent block, so maybe we'll do the on alert and just take care of this guy. I think we will. That's nice, though. Next turn, we can do the Spyglass and the Drawbridge. Let's attack. 
We'll give him the oops. Like we didn't mean to. Oops. Do it. Block. I believe. Wait on the drawbridge. Could play drawbridge and uh, squire. Hmm. Oh, another unicorn. That's nice too. Hmm. Sacrifice of food. Ooh, I don't like that. How can we take care of that? Let's do Spyglass. I only got one card in hand. Oh, uh, let's see. New battlefield. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best. Oh no. Get out of here. Done. New browser. I don't know. Let's say another cauldron familiar. Oops. I don't know. It's kind of a bust. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and put down our squire. Just get our board a little bit bigger. And we'll say pass. I forgot they only had one card in hand, so that was silly of me. It's not like the worst move to do this, because I can just return it, but it's not great. It wasn't a great play. Should have maybe just held on and uh, did drawbridge. Oh, I'm gonna do this straight away, huh? Okay. No blocks. Take a few hits. Hmm, I don't want to run this. Yeah, let's do it this way. We'll do... Create a knight. Do our drawbridge. Is it worth the two damage? I don't think it is yet. This guy can keep eating away at our crap though, it's not fun. We need a flyer to get up there and do righteousness in a block or something. Wow. Draw two card, lose two life is... Oh, wow. That's a good card. It's a good card. Dang. Well, they got their black mana. So, another one of our guys can get negative three, negative three. Oof. 
All right, they got stacks on stacks of those food tokens. Uh, they can't do his ability though. They're gonna hit me for three. So what does this do again? Ah, yes. Okay. Hmm. That'll just die right away. Oh, and we weren't recording that entire time. Great. Well, we lost game one. Uh, they, uh, we had no way to defend against their flyers. Sorry about that. I had a family emergency I had to take care of, so it wasn't an uh, ideal situation. I kept having to run downstairs and uh, figure out what was going on. Uh, it wasn't fun. Uh, so, yeah, so we lost game one. They, they had the flyer. They kept swinging in with the 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I clicked through as much as I could. I was running up here, running from downstairs to up here, just trying to figure out everything. And uh, they kept hitting me for three. They were winning the lead. We couldn't, we couldn't get any card draws that would deal with that flyer. And then they pulled out Rankle, which is another 3-3 with haste. So it was just over at that point. So we conceded and went to this game. And then I forgot to hit record because I forgot I stopped recording. Uh, so, yeah, just not a lot of fun. Not a lot of fun stuff. All right, I like this because we can play this out. We can start maybe getting early destroys on, like, uh, food tokens or whatnot. We can do the drawbridge. We got Beanstalk and the warrior guy starting to buff stuff, so let's just keep doing this. So, yeah, so we missed... We mulliganed this hand, because uh, I didn't hit record till I put him down. So we had a first hand that was just so-so. It was, it was kind of weak. We had a drawbridge and a couple other things, and then four lands. It just wasn't a very good hand, though, so we mulliganed to this. Uh, so now we're back at it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit shaken up from all this. I don't care if you destroy that defender. I could care less, honestly. I'm not dependent on giving my guys haste. Savvy Hunter. It's a good card right now. Uh, sacrifice two foods, draw a card, whenever it attacks, great food token. Yeah, that's not fun. We'll do this. Oh, no. Oops. Try to trap him here. Nothing. Okay. Uh, then, you know what? I don't want to do this. We'll just go like that. I kind of want to hold this up to see if we can get this guy. Oh, no. No, I didn't want to do that. What the fudge? I didn't want to do that. What did I click? Well, fudge and A. Oh, this whole game is just a mess. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't believe that happened. That, oh my. Let me have to review that and see if there's something I could decline or if it's just automatic. Let me read that card again. You may sacrifice it. So I had a choice and I just clicked OK, thinking I was going through damage. Sucks. Sucks. Alright, well, I like this. We can hit him for a lot. Hit him for six. We'll put down Hushbringer.
Food tokens for days. They got so many things in their hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, this game. Let's just finish this game. Come on. I'm over it. Okay, fine. They could have destroyed this guy. Power through. Oh no, power through this. I thought it was uh, the other thing. Uh, swing in. Be, do we want to be mana efficient? Yeah, let's be mana efficient. And I can block the Savvy Hunter with this guy. <laughs> well, at least this game's going good. It just terrible last game. Oh my gosh. Sucks. We didn't we weren't gonna win it. We weren't gonna win it. We weren't. Ah. Uh. Alright, got a blocker up. That's fair. Yeah, pass. Yeah, pass. <laughs> yeah, trick up your sleeve. What do you got for two mana? Yep, fine with this. Do I just play the unicorn? I'm almost tempted just to play the unicorn. No, let's just further our board a little bit. We still got lethal. Somewhat. Well, they can crack two food tokens. Go back to ten. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, sure. Don't destroy me here. sucks. That sucks. It's too bad I can't play both of these. Food tokens are going to get annoying and standard. <laughs> they really are. I feel like these things are going to be so annoying and standard. Carefully, are we? Mm. What is this? Sacrifice an artifact or another creature put a... Okay. 
So he can become a 3-3? Three, three? Oh, goodness. That's not fun. And now we can't do anything. Sweet. And they still have 11 life in all technical terms. <laughs> Empty handed, they got four cards. Yuck. All right. Yeah, we can't get through anything now. It's terrible. Yeah, they can totally attack in here, too. Just make this guy bigger. Oh, jeez. GG. <laughs> Basically. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to come back from this, that's for sure. Let's create that. I guess we can just take a little bit of damage, try to go wide, but it's not going to matter too much. Oh, frick. Sorry, guys, about this game. This is a terrible second game. I wanted this draft to go a little bit better, but this uh, second game kind of threw me for a loop and uh, was a bit trashy, so my bad. Leave me a like of positivity for the third game. <laughs> Leave me a like and a subscribe for the positivity for the third game I'm about to go into, alright? It'll, it'll help me, even though I'm filming this in the past and you're seeing this in the present, but... You know, I'll still, I'll still feel it, you know? Creature type, okay, sure. I'm just gonna concede, I think. What are you doing? Yeah, alright, it's fine. And they can hit me for quite a bit. Seven... Night. All right. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, good game. Good game, guys. All right. <laughs> we'll go on to game three. All right, we're back with game number three in our little Throne of Eldraine draft here. Um, last game was not fun, but I'm shaking it off. Shaking it off. We're all right. Hopefully you guys uh, left a like and subscribe, helping me out last time for such a tragic loss. If you didn't, you owe me. You owe me big time by liking and subscribing again. I guess we'll play first here. All right. Well, we can play a lot, so we'll keep it. Everything's a two drop. That's all right, though. Got some orange juice. I got a blueberry muffin. I'm ready to go. Hmm, <clears throat> Vantress. All right. Got Beanstalk, that's fine. I think we're gonna put down Youthful Knight first. Actually, no, we definitely should on Drawbridge. That was silly. I, I wanna start swinging in fast, but like, I think it would've been more effective Drawbridge and then just give stuff haste. Well, we got first strike, so we can swing in here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see what could they have in their deck that could trigger playing white, blah, white, blue. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do the Hushbringer still. Yeah, let's let's do Hushbringer. They put a big creature on the ground. We'll we'll start with the drawbridge. We're a little bit going backwards here on this one. Okay, nice flyer. Oh, 
Oh no. Oops. Keep doing the soups every game. Just kidding. Sneak in for another two. Feeling pretty good. Tome Raider, yep. Alright. No draw. We're curving out. It's nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now what? How do I want to run this? Should we make our Hushbringer nice and beefy, or should we make our Youthful Knight nice and beefy? Hmm. Or we could just set up for a turn. Oh no, that guy's three. Alright, so we'll play this, and we'll target, uh... I guess we'll target the Youthful Knight. I think the... Well, the lifelink would be nice too, but... Bring this back. Maybe it would have been better to put on the Hushbringer. We got him down to 11 though. They gotta catch up quite a bit. Saw that coming. It's unfortunate. We do have stuff in our deck to take care of that, though. Let's create a knight. Put down drawbridge. And we'll pass. We can swing in for, for some nice damage next turn. Oh, nice. Alright, never mind. What? Oh, frick. I did not want to click that. Let's just try to play a land. Three, four. Well, dang, dude. That's just unfortunate. Let's build a, another knight token. And it doesn't even give him haste. Yeah. Alright, well. We pass. That was unfortunate. Man, I thought I could only misclick on MTGO, but I guess not. I'm not safe in Arena either. The only way I can redeem myself is with a win. I'm not gonna block you. Well, thanks. Gladly take three. What else you got? Not gonna get a card draw. Alright, so... I think we'll put down a unicorn now. Hmm. You gotta say, uh, didn't say please in your deck? Would be decent if you did. Give everybody haste. Well, thank you, Hushbringer. Just 
attack with these three, see what happens. Mmm. Oh, that was nice. Good stuff. Okay. We got another one coming. So let's do Carver and then we'll create another token. Scry. All right, sure. Do I want to throw my carver to the wind? Because I'll block with the prize griffin but I could keep them on like really heavy defense and take out these other guys. Yeah, we'll just pass for now. Mm. Nice three, three, okay. Starting to put up the walls here. I need to remove this trapped in a tower. Sure, no blocks. You got another squire in your hand? Be pretty dope if you did. Get a card draw going. Not exactly what I was looking for. I just want to keep their creatures really light. They can keep, whenever they attack me with this prize griffin, I want to attack in with everything like this. Take the rest, all right, sure, go to four. <laughs> Gonna gain some, go ahead. Gain some more life. Hmm. Well, that'll be nice to... Put him down. Can hold this up if they swing in with the prize griffin, will righteousness or hushbringer? You got a counter? So I am going to throw some stuff to the wind here, just to make them feel safe to attack in. So 
So they'll eat my unicorns. We'll trade the Hengewalker. They'll eat one of them. And then they'll block that guy. So they'll just have the prize griffin. They may feel safe to attack into my Hushbringer, which I will be more than happy for them to do. Ooh. What's where you blocking there? All right. Okay. Oh, okay. They didn't even block it. All right. So they put so tiny. All right. Well, that's fair enough. They're going to scry. Maybe I'm being too aggressive. We'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Now they're definitely going to attack him with that guy. Oh, block. Ah, yes. Perfect. Let us do this. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Uh, cancel. What is this? It's an enchantment. All right. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, enchantment. That one. They could double block. That's nice. We can race a little bit. You want to race? No? <laughs> they can't actually. Silly me. Well, that's perfect. Oops. They got a block, so. Please don't tell me that's a counter sitting in your hand. No! Nice. Well, frick. That was a good one. Is there anything else I can do here? That's a bummer. Now they're feeling confident. No blocks. the Hushbringer. Hmm. 
Hit him for three. Bring him to three. Play him out. That's nice. That is nice. They can really start hitting me for a lot here. It's not what I want to see. None of this is what I want to see. We'll keep the force in our hand. For now. I don't know. What was the oops for? Oh, they meant to scry. Yeah. Just can't play that yet. We need to do it when uh, it's appropriate. So we can win with this card. But we need to do it when their defenses are down from this griffin. Because unfortunately it's a sorcery. If this was an instant it'd be over. But we gotta do it pre-combat. Uh, which means they'll just block whatever it goes on. So it's not ideal. That's nasty. Well, they may start feeling confident here. Yuck. We're still being cautious. And we are just going to pass. They're about to steal this game away. I don't know, maybe I should just be playing the Fairy Godmother out. I have two things coming in, but I really want to just get this buff and have it be over. Oh, frick. Well, that's gnarly. Take seven. Man. How do we want to run this? Yep. Man, you gonna feel safe to attack in with this guy now? Or what? Yeah, alright. I'm 
No blocks. Let's hope they don't have a counter spell sitting in there somewhere. Oh, it's tapped. Are they gonna play him? Oh, they got enough to play him. Frick. Just do one of those. Okay. Alright. So we should win. Boom. Auto pay those, and good game. It's close. It's really close. All right, let's go to game two. That was a close one. They are getting ready to turn that whole thing around. All right, so lots of flyers. Let's bring in our spider. Let's bring in our cauldron. Token guy. Sacrifice food. Mm -mm. I think that's good. We'll uh, maybe remove. Let's see, we could hit the Archon guy, whatever his name is. Uh, so I'll keep that in. Maybe let's take out. Wild Tracker? Uh, we could... Mm, they got a lot of stuff. I like all these, though. It's unfortunate. I guess we'll take out a uh, egg. Is this necessary? Maybe it's not necessary. It's a good card, but maybe it's just not super necessary here. Hmm. I guess we'll take out one of the youthful knights. Let's try that. I don't know. Sideboard is hard, man. Sideboarding is hard. I'm not the best sideboarder yet. I'm still learning sideboarding. I have a very narrow knowledge of how to sideboard correctly, unless it's with like a deck that I know extremely well. Draft sideboarding. It's a little bit more difficult. Sometimes there's obvious choices, but like that, like who do I cut? Who do I cut? Who would you guys have cut? Let me know in the comments below. What was the best cut there? Um, okay, yeah, I'll keep this. I'd like to hang on to Giant Killer, but I don't know. Oh, well, we got to turn one here. Uh, so that's fine. Let's do Scaldron. Scaldron. Scalding Cauldron. Scaldron. <laughs> we'll just call it Scaldron. Uh, then we'll probably go sp uh, Spyglass and take a look at their hand. See if we can't hit something decent. We'll play a little bit slow here. All right. All that glitters. Choose any card name. All that glitter is pretty powerful in their deck. Shambling. I don't know. I guess we'll just do all that glitters. So that could really be a problem later. Sure. I don't know figured out. Let's bring out one of those. We'll put 
put out a... Yeah, we'll put out a Hushbringer. And, uh... We can always just block this shambling suit, get it out of our way. Depending on what they play here. We'll block, we'll make them use this. Yep, that's all gonna happen. I think that's fine. Made him use their adventure on that. All right. Now we'll use our own. Again, there's for some damage. Uh, maybe we'll just play out our giant killer. What do they got coming? They got this guy, Squire. He's not... So, oh, he's almost close. 2-5. It is so tiny. Mm. I think we're going to wait because we can giant killer the merfolk. So let's just do that. It's a decent one. Decent card to destroy. Oh, they're going to do a tome. Okay. No card draw, though. All right, that's fair enough. Well, we can attack in. Play this. Pass. Eh, might have been better just to hold up giant killer since that's probably what they're going to play next. golden egg. See what else we can find. See if this changes our game plan. Ah, nice spider. Uh, I think we're still going to do this though. Can I not do this? Cancel. Power for a greater. Oh, I read that wrong. That was mana cost for a greater. Oopsies. Um, hmm. Let's swing in. Would you like to block? That glitters. Why wouldn't that work? Oh, it's inactivated. It's just a passive. Well, that's stupid of me. Well, let's put this down. Hmm. 
Sounds like a spell, huh? Sure. I think we kill this now, though. Or do we? Hmm, I'm just gonna let it through. Okay. Sure. Love another flyer that comes down. I think we'll be able to take out our Hushbringer. As well. So we got some things we gotta deal with here. We're going to take this out. Get a buff. Maybe it's just time to put down the giant killer. Start tapping stuff. We'll wait one more turn though. Okay. Sure. I uh, don't know why they gave up, but maybe they had to go. Were we at 34 life? I wasn't even paying attention to our life total, but we were going pretty high. Oh, we got a we got a nice pack. All right, cool. All right, so I guess we'll go on to uh, was this our fourth game? Is our fourth game? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get back into this thing. Go to our fourth game here. See how we can do. Oh, I don't like this. I need something, something else to do. Sure, we'll keep this. Hmm, what do we put back though? Probably Righteousness, I'm not worried about it. It hasn't been extremely useful so far, just like in one instant. Uh, so we play Giant Killer right away? I think we do. Let's go ahead and just play him out. We can make him tall if we want. Ooh, return to nature is not bad. <laughs> now if they keep doing this, we're just gonna... Well, let's make a night token. They 
we're slow rolling here. Okay, another pass. Interesting. So, do we want to go big on this guy? Three mana up. Seems like... Might be a mistake. Three mana? Kind of worried about what they have going on here. Let's swing in. Maybe they don't have anything. Alright, let's light him up then, I guess. Use our mana. And destroy him now. If he survives this turn, we got pretty lucky. We do not. So we got could have got in for some extra damage there. So that's kind of sucky. Uh, how do we want to run this? Let's just put on our unicorn. It's more mana efficient. Swing it for two. See, this is what happens when you don't know all the cards in the set. You don't realize things like bake into a pie is four mana instead of three. Usually all the murder spells are three mana, but this one gives you a food token. So, something you gotta remember. Creature cat, huh? Non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player. away from this. Let's pass it back to him. That sucks. I'm getting closer to making these bears. Let's attack. We're gonna race a little bit. For now. If he taps out, I may take advantage and just erase that food token, but he's gonna do it right now. Alright, fair enough. Our draws real. Hmm. Huh. 
let's put down an egg. Not feeling too good about our position here. There's our extra land we were missing. So that's nice. I'm gonna attack in. I need to put the pressure on, and I'm not gonna block next turn anyway, so we might as well attack in and try to get this guy to block. Ooh. Nice. That's not good. We can refill our bar next turn with the uh, Flax and Intruder, but that is rough. Gaining three. All right, so our clock is no longer good. That was a really good blowout. Well, that's that, pretty much. We are dead. I guess we gotta try to destroy one of these now. We'll gain some life, but I don't want it coming at my face. And we have to do this to block everything. But if they can create another food token, then we're just dead. We did. I'm not hanging around for that. Let's go to game two. I think I like it as is. I don't know. We could maybe bring in a spider as a good blocker. I guess let's do that. We'll just get another blocker in here. Sure. We'll play first again. Um, hmm. I don't know about all this. This isn't a great hand. We can put down Fairy Godmother, but we've got no green. If we had some green, it'd be nice. We can put her down. Green Knight token. We got a couple turns, but it's like it's a pretty slow hand. Pretty slow start. I don't know if we'll be able to compete with his deck with this. Get a molly. Yeah, we'll keep this and we'll probably put. Uh, I don't want to put Lion Claws at the bottom, but uh, I think we kind of have to here. We're just way too far away from him. 
can at least go turn one track or turn two Flutterfox, start pumping our creatures, start getting some tokens, hopefully draw some more lands. This one gives us a better clock at least. That's great. That's going to turn on our Flutter Fox. So we'll definitely like throw that down next turn, or uh, or if we get a land, we'll consider what we can do here. All right, Golden Egg. We're going to just do this. Give this guy flying. Keep swinging in. Stupid witch. Alright, there we go. We're getting some more stuff here. Uh, let's see. I say we swing in. They block. Probably block with Curious Pair, but if they block with Tempting Witch, then so be it. We'll just get this guy out of our way. End the turn. Hopefully we can draw land, then we can play like the Squire and the Golden Egg. It'd be kind of nice. That's unfortunate. So yeah, let's draw a card and we'll probably just put down the squire. Start setting up our board. Planes. Alright, so we can do our lonesome unicorn as well. Pass. Okay. I'm just putting that down now. I don't know why they wouldn't do that on my turn. Oh, they did. Oh, sorry, I thought they already passed so their turn. Oh, gain life for the first time. You turn. Okay. Nice card. Man's got haste. I'm not gonna block. Make a knight. We'll hold up return to nature for anything that they may try to play here. Uh, we're just gonna pass. We have terrible attacks. Oh, that guy. Crap. How do we deal with you? I deal with all of you. We're going to take it this time. We're going to have to go on blocking duty next turn. Okay. That could, uh, that could help us. Well, 
frick. Uh, I guess I'm just going to use these. Put it on this guy. Set up for blocking with him. Yeah, use it or lose it. So... Force them to use one of these, I guess. Shoot it at my face. So let's put him down. We can do righteousness. Pass. We got this guy to deal with too. No, oh, it's gonna have flying, which is terrible. Right, we can return that. It's awesome. It's a good. This is a good deck. It's a good deck. All right, so let's block here. Let's block here. Block. Just do this. Get them both out of here. Say my turn, but it's looking bleak. Yeah, it's looking real bleak. Snarly. Wow, we are dead, bro. That's sucky. Death Touch. Venice. This guy's gonna get a plus one. Pass, but uh, it's not looking pretty. This guy's about to be dropped. Pretty soon. I need one more land. your fun. All right. All right. So I guess I'll block here and I'll block here. I'll take four. Just concede. <laughs> Good 
Good game. All right, that's it. That's our draft. We went two and two. Not great. It's not great. We had a couple scuff games, unfortunately. So let's claim our prize. We got three packs. That's nice. It's cool. We got a bunch of packs here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed while we open these packs. We'll wrap up the video here. Uh, leave a like on the video if you want to see more uh, MTG Arena. I know we haven't done it in quite a while. So if you want to see more drafts or if you want to see me try to build a deck, I'm trying to do these drafts and stuff so I can get more wild cards because I just don't have any. So if you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe on the video. And ooh, once upon a time, great hits. Very cool. And until next time, we will see you in the next video.